What is up everyone? My name is Phil. The channel is Phil's Polls. We're back with another card opening video. Today we've got one box of Hobby 2020 Series 1. Um, I had mentioned in the video that I opened a jumbo box that it would probably be my last tops opening and I, that was not true. I did a retail uh, retail opening with like four or five different formats of stuff that you can find in Targets and Walmarts, etc. Um, and then I, Topps was actually cool enough and sent me this box of regular hobby, which uh, will complete basically all the formats of this product there are. So I figured why not open it on camera. Um, like I said, Topps was cool enough to send me this box and uh, that's what we're going to do. So leave a like, subscribe if you enjoy Top Series 1. Uh, it's kind of Surprised me in a way like I I usually don't open much of this at all But I think the the rookie class this year and then all the different parallels that are available and the short prints and stuff It makes it opening um, Opening it pretty cool. So uh, Let's get into this opening um, One autograph or relic card in every hobby box which that's the reason I preferred jumbo to do on the first one I wanted to guarantee ourselves at least an auto where in a hobby box, it's an auto or a relic. So it kind of is what it is, but at a, I think it's like half the price of a jumbo box. So here we have the, I think these are like the, the chrome kind of mojo refractor type cards. We'll save those for the end because there's actually some cool stuff that you can, that you can get in those. And let's get our packs out of here. 14 cards in a box, or 14 cards in a pack, sorry and 24 packs per box so this won't be a super quick opening but that's okay um, it's still still fun to go through this so i did a retail opening for yesterday's video and uh, actually kind of threw in like a q a session with that um curious what you guys felt about that it, it might be something that we can do like once a month or something you know just throw some questions out and i'd be handsy <laughs> i'd be happy to answer them be antsy to answer them um, but yeah, that was kind of a, kind of a cool video. I liked some of the questions and, um, it's fun to talk about, uh, talk about the hobby. Uh, there's an Aquino. That's his, uh, rookie. Here we've got, uh, Juan Soto upside down, bunch of upside down cards. I'm not going to go through and turn every card upside down, but there's a gold Grinky to number two, 2020. All the golds are number two, whatever year that tops card happens to be out of. Let's see, you got a Hunter Renfro. Good. Just one upside down card there, but then we got some more in a row. Max Scherzer, Will Clark, Murphy. So I do like the, uh, I do like the short prints and like the super short prints of, I don't know if you've seen like the, the Pete Alonzo polar bear where I think there is a couple, there's a Gavin Lux. There's a couple on eBay for like, I want to say the one was, has like an asking price of two grand. And then another one is, uh, is, um, an auction, but it's at like, I don't know, 600 bucks or something with a few days left. So some of these, you can get some big money cards. I mean, the, the Jordan Alvarez black to 69 that we pulled in the first video was like, uh, I mean, there were some listings for like a thousand bucks. I don't think they sold for that, but you know, there are some are some big cards you can get, especially the rookies, the parallels, and uh, like there's a Jordan Alvarez, for example, um, and the autos of the rookies in the different formats as well. Like in the uh, in this guy here, there's a chance for autos as well, so that's pretty neat. If I think the auto might be coming, I'll, I'll save it for the end, but it's uh, sometimes it's hard to tell. Or the relic. I mean, the relic's easy to tell, but sometimes the auto can be tricky. Um, Blake Snell, Alonzo. That's who we'd be looking for as the polar bear, which would be pretty sweet. I like that they kind of go and do uh, some different stuff like that. It's not always... You know, just a different photo of the guy, but they kind of have some fun with it. I appreciate that with uh, with some of the short prints and things like that. Brennan McKay. 
bunch of upside down cards. Red Sox, we've got Decades Next, Jesus Luzardo. Insert there, pretty nice. He's a stud, I uh, watched him pitch a few times last year. He's got electric stuff, Jesus Luzardo. Milwaukee Brewers, that's a short print. I've seen this card before, it's kinda cool. It's the uh, Roger Clemens, kind of uh, talking to the media with his dad polo on. I don't know, is that, a, is that like a receipt? It almost looks like a, like a diner receipt in the background there, that's kinda funny. So Roger Clemens short print. Don't know how rare that is. I've, uh, I've looked up some of them. This is our relic, I believe. So we'll set that aside. Um, I don't know how rare exactly the short prints are. They're not numbered, so there's no real way of knowing other than just the pack odds, which, you know, in a product like this, it's probably a lot, but you know, still. Jose Peraza, rainbow foil. It'd be really cool to hit a parallel of uh, of a rookie. I say that after I got a black of Jordan Alvarez, so I don't really, I don't really deserve it, but still, be nice to get one. And Logan Allen rookie. It's an upside down Tom Seaver insert. And uh, yeah, I think we're about halfway through this box. Um, I think these retail for like seventy-ish dollars, sixty-five, seventy dollars, something like that. Kibness. There's a Bo Bichette. He'll be one of the uh, one of the other big names to look out for this year and all the Topps products, which, uh, which I'm a, I'm a believer in him. I think he's a, he's a good player. Well, he came up last year and showed it. So a lot of these guys, it's like, you're kind of speculating, but he, uh, he actually, he actually did it. So did a lot of the guys, I mean, Jordan Alvarez rookie of the year. So he obviously came up and did some big things. Um, this, That's a weird pack. This, There's like no, uh, this needs to stop. not now. even one insert. You don't usually see that. Usually there's always something weird. So I think we have about, I don't know, eight or nine packs left out of our 24. So I'm moving through this fairly quickly. Not, not too bad. Um, I am getting a new camera soon. I actually just put in the order today. So I'm looking forward to that. Not that this is a bad camera. It's not at all. It's just the uh, the unfortunate thing with with uh, methods of video like this, where I'm taking stuff, you know, it's focused on the mat, and then I take things up towards the camera lens to, you know, give you guys a closer look. A lot of cameras, it's not, you know, it's not that I have a bad camera. It's just they struggle with that autofocus back and forth. So I'm I'm upgrading from this is a Canon uh, EOS M5, and I am going to be moving to a Sony. A9. There's a trout. Um, the super short print of this is actually just a reverse image, so it looks like he's batting left-handed, which is kind of cool. I like that they did that. So yeah, look out for a... Uh, maybe you won't notice a difference at all. I'm not sure yet, but hopefully, uh, you know, like when I do this and then jump right back up, it was fine there. But, um, you know, hopefully the, the time and the sensor for autofocus will be a little bit better. But uh, here's a gold Andres Munoz. Flamethrower and reliever for the uh, Padres. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. Trying out some different stuff, experimenting a little bit with a lot of different videos and uh, editing and all sorts of stuff. And you guys are constantly giving me feedback for better or for worse. So that's uh, that's always nice. Dylan Cease there and uh, five packs to go. I've mentioned in other videos, but I'm actually down in the, uh, I actually record in the garage now, which, which is fine. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's good. I have my own dedicated space. It's quiet. It's all good. But, uh, it was kind of a bummer because I'd, you know, be prepping for videos or, you know, doing different stuff. And then, um, I didn't have like a TV down here or, or anything. So there's a Nico Horner, uh, 35th anniversary rookie card. And I finally got what a got a TV put in, so pretty stoked. I'm actually watching the Lightning Penguins game right now on mute. 
And you guys can't even tell I'm watching because I don't have a face cam. It's beauty. Uh, let's see. Presley, Kurt Suzuki. There's a Joey Gallo home run challenge card. I'm not sure exactly what you do with those. I haven't read the, the, the contest or anything, but a buddy of mine is actually interested in, in getting any that I that I pull if I didn't want them. So there must be something something good to it. Um, we got Acuna, Scott Kingery, Tanaka, Ian Desmond, and there's a, another Munoz. So this is the rainbow foil version, not numbered, but uh, imagine if that had been a, a different rookie. That would have been pretty solid. Um, so we've got our last pack here, and then we got the pack that I set aside, which has our, what I believe is a relic. Maybe it's a relic auto. That would be nice. But uh, it was a thicker card, so I'm going to go ahead and assume it is just a relic, and maybe we'll be surprised with um, something a little better. So here is that pack. We've got a Anthony K rookie, and we have a, a JT Realmuto bat relic which I believe this is the relic that we pulled in our jumbo box. So nothing too different there. Um, JT Real Muto bat, which I appreciate the bat a little bit more than like a, just a white piece of jersey. So, um, but let's see how we can do in our little uh, bonus mojo refractor pack here. We've got a Soto, Bryce Harper, Lindor, and Acuna. So... No parallels, no autos, no rookies out of that pack, but still some solid names. Um, if you're just looking at, uh, you know, star power. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for our uh, Jumbo Box, or not, I'm sorry, Jumbo Box, Hobby Box of Tops 2020 Series 1. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, we've got a really good video coming up, probably, that you'll see tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. Look out for that one. It's uh, 2018 Tops Crumb Sapphire, something I'm really excited about opening. Um, but yeah, leave a like, subscribe as always, and I will catch you guys on the next video. See ya.